I stand here today as a proud Jew, proud of my ancient heritage, proud of my people, proud of what we have created. I am also proud of my Hungarian heritage. But I know that if my grandparents had not left Hungary, if I'd been born here in 1944, I would have been one of the tens of thousands of Jewish children gassed at Auschwitz. That is why we are here today. That is why we march together. Not just because of what happened 70 years ago, but because what is happening here today. 70 years after Hitler and Auschwitz and the Arrow Cross, Jews are targeted again. 70 years later, we see the same signs that we saw before. I stand here today to tell you that no one, no political party, no thugs in the night, no one has the right to threaten our people. No one has the right to deface our synagogues. And no one has the right to hurt our children. There are monuments of shoes along the Danube. These are a memorial to the Jewish people who were murdered there. No one, no one has the right to spit in these shoes. No one in this great city. We send one clear message to the entire world. The Hungarian Jewish community is alive and well. And the Hungarian Jewish community is not going anywhere. We march today to say, we are here, we are alive, and here we will remain. The March of the Living also reminds us what happens when the world is silent. Silence allows the lowest form of mankind out in the open. We Jews learn the hard way. We know what happens when the world is silent. And the price we paid is too high. For that reason, we will never be silent again. I will never be silent. I will not be silent when Jews are targeted. I will not be silent when Christians are targeted, when any group is singled out by hate. I will not be silent. And when somebody spits in those shoes along the Danube 
and the Hungarian government does not condemn that. It looks like the government agrees. When somebody stands up in Parliament and wants to put Jewish politicians on lists and the government must not be silent. When it comes to anti-Semitism, the Hungarian government must never be silent. Some people forget the important role that Jews played in Hungary. Jews help make this country great. When Jews are part of society, any society, countries prosper. Jews win Nobel Prizes. Jews create jobs. And they cure diseases. Jews build. Jews don't tear down. Anti-Semites tear down. They destroy. They create nothing. They save no one. And when the Jews are forced to leave, they take their success with them. Jobbik may think they are saving Hungary. But Jobbik hurts Hungary in the eyes of the rest of the world. The rest of the world sees Jobbik as an extremist party that promotes hate. Jobbik does not even realize that they hurt Hungary's future. Today, when the world looks at Hungary, it does not see the great culture. It does not see the beautiful cities. It does not remember the glorious past. Today, the world sees Hungary, and they see Jobbik. And when businessmen want to invest in Hungary, they also see Jobbik, and they are afraid to come. Jobbik hurts Hungary. Do not allow Jobbik to destroy Hungary. The people of Hungary are too good for that. This march is being covered by hundreds of news organizations right in front of me. And in this world of instant pictures and the internet, News is flashed around the world in an instant. And when there is an act of hate against anyone, that is the news. And people see outside of Hungary what has happened. Everything good 
that Hungary did in 1956 and its push for capitalism, all that is forgotten. In the end, you must decide the image you want to send to the world. Look around you. Today, there are thousands of Hungarians here, Jews and Christians, marching together against hate. You march together. You march together for a better future. That is the image you want people to see. You want people to know that Hungary has a bright future. Hungary and the Jewish people are tied together. Thank you for standing with us. I believe strongly there is our only choice. We stand together and we say, enough. Enough anti-Semitism, enough hatred, enough death and destruction. Today, we turn an important corner and we start building together. To everyone I say, thank you for standing against anti-Semitism and hate. Thank you for standing. For standing with the Jewish people. Thank you for remembering. Hungary is the thousands of Christians who are here today to support the Jewish community. Today, we honor life, not death. This is the march of the living. We will work together to make our world a better place. We look forward, not backward. But we will not be silent. Me, Oza Tatong, Nem, Holga Tong, Veled, Vadyok, Kursenem.